In this video I just want to show you how to put together the old Pepsi logo. It looks very similar to the one on your screen right now. I'm going to start today in Illustrator by going to File and New. We're going to call it Pepsi Logo. We'll have a profile of print, one artboard, A4 is our size, landscape orientation and a 3mm bleed. Make sure you've got your advanced settings set to our usual. Click OK. First thing we want to do is draw a circle on the page. So we'll grab our ellipse tool. Just want to choose red as our color. And we want to say no to the stroke. We're just going to hold shift and draw ourselves a circle on the page. Once that's there, grab your black arrow, which is the selection tool. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and just drag off the page and you will get a duplicate of that circle. We want to color that top circle now in blue. So we've now got two circles. While you've highlighted both these circles, we'll go to select it all and make sure they're all highlighted. I want you to go across the top here where you've got your alignment options. And first of all, align them in the horizontal center. Pressing that button. And then we're going to go across to the right a bit more and look for the uh, sorry, vertical align center and click that. And that puts both our circles on top of one another. If I expand my layers box down here, you'll see that I've got a blue circle and a red circle still. The blue one's just covering up the red one. Next thing we need to do is grab our rectangle tool from our toolbox. Doesn't matter what color it is, and we're just going to click and drag over the top of this circle. You want to go to exactly halfway, and your guides will show you when you hit the halfway point on that circle. With your selection tool now, I want you to select this rectangle, hold shift, and also select the blue circle. So you've got two items selected there. Once you've done that, you need to go to your window menu and select the Pathfinder panel. And from that, we're going to click the second option that says minus front. And that takes away whatever's on top of the picture. So anything in that rectangle is going to disappear now. So I'll press minus front. We've just taken away half of that blue circle and the rectangle is completely gone. So you can start to see this Pepsi logo coming together. I'm just going to highlight it all and move it off to the side for a moment. And the next step is grabbing your rounded rectangle tool. You need to choose white as your fill color and no stroke once again. We want to start around the middle of this circle. Now your guides will show you when you get to the middle. Hold the Alt key and start clicking and dragging out. You just want to go outside the lines a little bit and draw yourself a rounded rectangle about that size. If I just click off it for a sec, you can see this Pepsi logo starting to form. Now with your selection tool, make sure you've got that new rounded rectangle selected. We're going to pop up to our effect menu here and choose warp and then flag. And you've just got to play around with this lever a bit until you get a good bend in that, that line. Okay. Generally, generally speaking, we'll go to the right. We'll probably dump it at about 60%. You don't need to change anything else, so click on OK. And that's basically your Pepsi logo. The next thing you can do if you're on your own computer, you can download the Pepsi font for free off the internet. You can click next to your logo then, in your fonts up here. I've downloaded the font previously. It's just called Pepsi. So where's the letter P's? Oops, I think it's got some exclamation marks next to it actually, so I'll just search for it. There it is. It's called Pepsi. I need a pretty big size font, so I'll start on 72. The color for my font will be the same blue as what I've got there, so I'll just select that blue. And I'll write the word Pepsi in capital letters. Okay, it's still too small, so I'm going to hold shift and use my selection tool to resize that to a fairly big size. Looks pretty good. One last thing I'll do is just group this logo together by highlighting all of the logo, right-clicking and selecting group. Okay, so now I can move the logo all as one piece, and my text I can move as well. I want to get that text perfectly in line in the center with this logo. So I'm going to highlight the logo and the text. Pop up to my alignment options here. And we're going to select the vertical align center. And that puts them aligned by their center points. That's how we create the Pepsi logo. Make sure you get a file and save as. And save it as either an Illustrator file or you can export it as a JPEG. And that's it.